Yeah, good evening, Erin. So one of the women that we talked to says this has changed her whole routine completely. She says she used to feel safe coming here alone, and now that's not the case. It happened really fast. Coming to this particular trail on the former Fort Ord was routine for this woman we talked to. A safe routine until recently, she says. I was more scared of coming across an animal or snake than an actual being assaulted by a person. But Wednesday was different when she was headed up Creekside Terrace Trail. She says someone grabbed her from behind in a bear hug that she had to break out of before things got even more bizarre. He poured the water bottle over me and he got me, um, you know, wet at, at the same time he was, you know, touching me. I tried to break away. <laughs> I'm sorry. As he grabbed my hand, with my other hand, I tried to push him away. Before she finally got away, she was able to get a glimpse of his face and noticed they just passed each other on the trail before. I'm just thankful that he didn't do anything else. She told her friends to spread the word on Facebook, and they did. And so I read it, and I got chills, and I just immediately was like, that's the guy. That's the same guy. Kelly Sullinger says she'd been attacked by the same guy when she was walking with a friend on the same trail a few weeks ago. And then all of a sudden, I feel a hand, like, on my butt. And it wasn't like a graze. Like, it was an open hand on my butt, and then here comes the guy past me, and he keeps running. And I was like, hey, and I cursed at him and like, you can't do that. I, I don't know if because I was with a friend, I didn't get a full on attack um, or maybe he was just starting and now he's gotten braver. Now, because this is federal land, the Bureau of Land Management is now addressing this. BLM did release a statement to us regarding this incident. It reads, the Bureau of Land Management has received reports and law enforcement is looking into this incident. The BLM takes public safety seriously and would like to remind visitors to please be aware of your surroundings and report any suspicious activities to law enforcement. Now, one of the things the ladies told us is that this man does not stand out too much. They saw him and he was in workout equipment and he was running at the time of these alleged attacks. That's why they wanted to get the word out. What they can tell us is that he was in workout gear again and he's about five foot ten inches um, and about a medium build. Aaron. It's Sierra, thank you. The Bureau of Land Management says for the foreseeable future, its officers will increase patrols during peak hours at the Fort Ord National Monument where that trail is located.